Hey, what's going on everyone? So today, I have to cut apart most of these motors. And whatever else we gotta separate, it might all be brass. Yeah, that's just all brass. That's something I gotta check, but the rest of the stuff, still gotta take bolts off of these, but all these gotta be cut apart. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, it's a rainy day. If I set you guys right on here. Move a few of these out the way. That should work out perfectly. Push myself. Oh, hands getting dirty already. All right. So we'll get set up and then we'll get you guys back in a little bit. All right, bye. All right, so we got our earplugs in, got our mask, got our safety goggles, and we're going to put a pair of gloves on also. Uh, have to have you guys on time lapse for this part because it's way too loud with the grinder. I was looking for something, now I can't remember what it is. All right, well, we'll get you guys back once we start, and you'll be on time lapse. All right, bye. All right, so now the learning part. When you're cutting apart your motors, if you're not using a vise, make sure you keep a tight grip on this because this moves a little bit. Same with the grinder. The grinder will jerk back and forth while you're cutting through this. All you gotta do is make it even cut all the way around. Copper will fall right off. So we'll get to them later, take that apart, but a little bucket starting to add up of copper but that's what I wanted to explain to you guys like if you're cutting make sure you keep a, keep a tight grip for those of you who don't know this uh, scar right there is from a grinder I was cutting something apart they have a tight grip on it the grinder uh, ended up uh, kicking back went right across my finger my finger was hanging so that's not fun and uh, we we're at the locker and my wife had to throw everything back in the locker and rush me to the hospital where we sat there for three hours with my hand wrapped up ended up leaving going to the bar grabbing a couple shots took a couple shots because I was in a lot of pain and they weren't doing nothing went home cleaned the cutout myself because I was a little buzzed then. I don't recommend doing that. Uh, got some butterfly stitches. Put that on. It wouldn't stop bleeding. And ended up having to go back to the hospital. Two hours later. Went to a different hospital. Uh, ended up sitting there for an hour. They took us back in the ER. And the lady was like. This is from a grinder? Yeah. It looks so clean, like clean cut. Well, what happened was, <laughs> I told her that about the other hospital and everything, and she was like, well, you did a very good job cleaning it. I'm impressed. And then she stuck a needle in it and like numbed it while she stitched it up. <laughs> that was not fun. Uh, but still got a couple things to cut apart uh we'll show you how to cut apart compressors later 
basically we're just cutting apart these motors and uh, cutting apart different stupid stuff like this to get the copper off and leave the brass. But that's what we're doing for now. Later on we'll have these in the vise. You want something like this that has like a point on the end. You can hammer it in there and just pry all this off. It will save you a lot of time. Hammer it on both sides and it should just pry it right off. Sometimes it takes a little bit more effort. Sometimes it does not. But it's better than going all the way around the back and hammering each one of these out. Alright, so we're going to continue to cut. Hopefully I don't cut myself or nothing and uh, I'll show you just basically how to cut apart these. These I take this outer layer off and then just score right on the end. Now beware that all this once you cut it will go all over the place. So have like a big work area, a big work bench or something where you don't mind that. Oh well actually this one just broke right apart. I've never had that happen to me. Well, I guess we're not cutting this one, but we'll probably cut a different one. This one, you can just pull the copper right out. Some of them, you can't do that. Yeah, this one's really easy. Look at that. There's all your copper right there. Some places will give you number one for this. Some places will uh, dick you over and give you number two. So we just throw it in with the number two. All right, we'll get you guys back later. All right, bye. All right, and we're back. So, wanted to let you guys see something. Another learning experience. Uh, every molder won't be copper. Some will actually be aluminum, as you can see right in there. Now, for the aluminum ones, they're not worth me cutting it apart. Like you can see, I start there and it will actually melt to the blade like the copper does but the copper will melt to the blade after you cut like 20 or 30 but that's easy to get off you could just grind it on a little piece of metal or something that will come right off the aluminum however will stick to it and it kind of ruins the blade it won't cut as good anymore so i don't cut these apart they're not worth it for me they're just more of a hassle so these will go to electric motors uh, I've seen other people cut these apart this looks like too much of a hassle I think you cut right there and then you pull it out, all out there but then if there's glue which this one does there's glue on the inside but we'll probably cut that one apart just because there's no glue and it's a little bit bigger than all the rest of them. Uh, so our bucket's adding up of copper. We got a little piece of number two right there in the box. Yeah. That's pretty cool looking inside. I'm going to cut this open for you guys because... I want you to see what I see. Yeah, I'm not gonna put my respirator on real quick and you guys gotta deal with the noise for about 10 seconds. And I don't know if you guys saw that, but that's why you be careful. 
Like we already took a chunk out the blade right there. And that could have been very bad. So give me two more seconds to cut this. Now I'm nervous. But I was actually uh, pressing too hard on it. I wasn't letting the blade do the work. So when you have a grinder, let the blade do the work. Don't press real hard. Don't try to force it. Yeah, well. Literally, all it was inside was a little tiny screen, which will actually pop right out but when you were looking through it from the other end it looked pretty cool it looked like all colorful so I thought it was gonna open up be like some colorful thing or something got a spring in there a copper spring yeah. <laughs> not sure what that came off of but we'll keep that in there Give it a little bit of extra weight but as you guys saw that's why the blade kicks back and look at the blades already breaking apart now but now you gotta be careful because the blade will jump a little bit more because it will hit them spots uh, it will grind itself past that once you cut some more stuff so we'll probably cut some metal to make it grind past that and then we'll continue taking them apart and uh, cutting them. Even these, I'll uh, just cut that off right there instead. Uh, we'll probably take the screws out also. But then again, it has that middle part like that big one. We need to only cut that. All right, so now I gotta get my toolbox and start taking all this apart. Let me see if this is, this is weird. The way it's like cut at the bottom. We're gonna grind that right off right now. All right. So like I was saying, just wanna grind one side. Now this has all the fibers, so it should hold together. Also, when you're doing this, don't wear clothes you really like because the stuff does tend to get everywhere. And even that was uh, shooting those little fibers into my jacket, like poking me. So these are now poking me in the arm. All right, enough of that. But as you can see, that cut apart kind of good so let's see if we could get that out of there that will just throw in a number two uh, doo -doo -doo. probably need a flathead but I don't have a flathead handy right now that should just come right out And that's your copper. And always this, throw in your heavy metal. Most places will pay you heavy for it. That's why I started a box right there. A bucket of it. 
And we got some number one copper, some brass, some aluminum, well, dirty aluminum. All right, so that's about it. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, we'll probably make it interesting. Uh, we'll start taking these apart, bring you guys back every minute or two, tell you more facts about myself or my wife. All right, let me get these out of here. Oh, uh, yep, that's all the rest of them over there, the electric motor, so I'll throw it right in there. Scrap piles, again, pretty big. Cleaned up one piece of the yard to fix the fence. So, looks all clean now. But, once this fence gets fixed, I'm gonna move all that over here and organize it a lot better than it is over here. All these microwaves and stuff will be taken apart. All this will be empty, taken apart, or put in its right full place. All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. Alright, and we're taking a break for now because uh, my loving wife opened up the window and she told me she made breakfast. So, we're going to go inside and eat and I'm going to give my wife a big kiss. But, the sun's coming out and I'm starting to sweat so we're going to go inside anyway and cool off. I'm just so grateful to have, I don't want to say a girl or a woman, I wouldn't know what to call her. I'm so glad to have a wife like mine, I'll say it that way, because she is so loving and she means the world to me. <laughs> uh, make me cry on here. <laughs> but. She does a lot for me, even though sometimes it may not seem like it on video. It's the little things that always count. And somebody like my wife, you have to hold on to and cherish. Hence the fact I always take her on vacations and all this other stuff. But that's beside the point. And for any of you guys, well, any of you women out there, the best way to a man's heart, you'll probably guess it, is through his stomach. See, us men, we don't really know how to cook that good, so you gotta kind of like teach us and shoot us in the right direction. Send us to cooking school or something. Oh, uh... One other thing before we go, uh, I want to show you something while we're scrapping. I kind of thought of it. So this part right here, it's inside the motor, it's this right here. Figure how heavy it is. This can be counted as heavy metal with all these uh, rings and stuff in it. And it's heavier than just this little casing. This little casing weighs nothing. So probably can't pass that off as heavy metal but that's why I started taking them off throwing them in the heavy metal pile uh, make some extra money for myself so we're gonna go inside eat probably do some eBay shipping and some other stuff and I'll see you all next time well thank you for watching our more of my adventures and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. That way it helps me do more videos. Also, somebody contacted me on Facebook that 
watches my videos and suggested that I should start putting my address in the description for more people to send me things. I believe I'll start doing that either this video or next video. Um, but when you send me stuff, you can't be afraid. Uh, let me know in the letter or anything if you want me to keep your name out of it or stuff like that. But other than that, the whole thing will be on video because I like to appreciate people that send me stuff. Especially the boots and everything because if you see, I still wear my kind of scrapping sneakers with the little talking crocodile stuff on it. But they're probably going in the trash today. Um, just, I don't know, the shoes were always comfortable. <laughs> and I couldn't find another pair like it, so I kind of still wore it even when it like talks. Like people look at me when I'm going to Home Depot and stuff like I'm a homeless man. Well, homeless people sometimes have more money than regular Americans. So if that's the way it gotta be, that's the way it gotta be. All right, well, we'll see everybody next time, and thank you for watching. All right, bye. Oh, and that smell bacon, it is amazing. So let's go see what my wife made. Hi, honey. Uh -huh. So what'd you make? Food. Food? I know I smell bacon. Yeah, that was the first thing I smell right when I come in the house. Bacon and eggs. Ooh. Eggs look good. Really? You're videotaping me? Yeah, bacon looks even better. What? I gotta let everybody know, like, the way to a man's heart is oh, through his stomach. Come on, Brad, turn around, face the camera, give no. us a big smile. No. Come on, it gotta be like the caption. Oh, she got a knife. <laughs> there you go. Alright. Yeah, and run away when a woman has a knife. Even if you didn't do something wrong. Alright, well, we'll see everybody next time. Alright, bye.